Before we start creating plots with matplotlib, let's talk a little bit about what is matplotlib and one of its parts, pyplot. Pyplot is a submodule of matplotlib, and we can see that from the import statement matplotlib.pyplot. Pyplot contains a collection of plot styles from within matplotlib. Matplotlib like pandas, is built on top of NumPy, so it has the same advantages of high speed. PyPlot gives you a high degree of control over the appearance of the graphs that you make, and it has a huge number of plot type options. It's actually kind of overwhelming, which is one reason why the pandas visualizations and Seaborn are built on top of matplotlib, just to make the interface a little less complicated. There are actually two different ways that you can access matplotlib pyplot. One is what's known as the object-oriented interface. The other is an interface that is colloquially called pyplot. The pyplot interface is designed to look like MATLAB, so MATLAB users might find it more familiar. However, the object-oriented interface behaves like many of the other features of Python that we're used to, so we'll use that one. And it also gives us a better degree of control, especially if we're building a plot through a series of script commands. It's important to recognize that there are these two different interfaces for accessing matplotlib, because if you Google or look in Stack Overflow, you'll often see two ways of creating a plot that seem quite different from each other. And the reason for that may be because one of them is using the object-oriented approach and the other is using the MATLAB-type pyplot interface. 